just checked into Travelodge. This is where I'm staying for tonight. Nice and chilled, nice and easy. Um, probably going to head into town to have a little explore and probably get some food. Most likely going to be Nando's, like always. Um, but you're probably asking yourself whilst you're watching this video, why am I going to British Triathlon headquarters? Why is he going all the way up to Loughborough? just to go have a visit. Well, well, I'm lucky enough to be selected as a British Triathlon Age Group Ambassador. So last year I entered the Barry Sprint Triathlon and the Bala Triathlon. Bala did turn into a duathlon, but from those races, I managed to qualify for the European Championships this year in Vichy in France, which is happening in September. I'm doing a double header weekend, so I'm racing on the Saturday and the Sunday, which is going to be really interesting. So from that, I, uh, they sent out an email asking for applicants and for ambassadors on board to share their journey, share their um, training, to share some of the opportunities and also how to qualify for an age group uh, slot. So um, me being me, I put my name in the hat. Luckily, I got selected. There's a couple of people selected. I don't know who any of the others are. I will be meeting them all tomorrow for the first time. It's gonna be really interesting. To be honest, I didn't really know that British Triathlon had a headquarters. So this is a bit of behind the scenes for a lot of us, I think, which would be really interesting. They've got sort of a, a day set up for us. And we got a track session as well with uh, one of the British Triathlon coaches. So it's gonna be a really full on day tomorrow as well and a lot of learning. But I thought this would be good to start the Age Group Diaries series with episode one, come into British Triathlon headquarters and see what all the fuss is about. So hopefully you'll join me on this journey. So I'm gonna head to the town, get some food, come back, get some rest, and I'll see you all in the morning. So the morning was spent having a little wander around British Triathlon HQ and getting to know the other ambassadors and people involved. After that we looked at some of the partners who help British Triathlon and then how the age group system works. What I didn't realise was when you submit a time or your interest for an age group race, that payment actually goes towards a coach for that uh, race wherever it may be and I thought that was really interesting. The afternoon we spent uh, over in Loughborough University, we had some food in the Athlete Centre uh, and there was a lot of other high quality teams there which really shows the level of talent they have there. <laughs> <laughs> And then we went over to the Athlete Centre and the indoor and outdoor athletics track just for a track session and just to work on some areas of stretching which we may not have thought of. Well, certainly I didn't anyway. But it was a really good experience and a good eye-opener for me in terms of how we should warm up as athletes and also take into consideration our bodies before we actually start a workout.
So that's the end of episode one of the Age Group Diaries. By the time this video has been released, uh, it will be confirmed that I will be an Age Group Ambassador, which is partnered by Yellow Jersey. It's been such an exciting day going around British Triathlon HQ and also Loughborough University, seeing some of the quality in terms of athletes they have here and facilities. It's um, such an eye opener, and um, yeah, really looking forward to working with these guys for the rest of the year um, and bringing you some exciting content and probably content that you probably have a lot of questions to ask about so episode two we'll probably go through some of my training but also how you can possibly get yourself um, into that age group um, sort of mentality and probably trying to qualify for an age group event and how you can represent um, age group GB at some of the um, distances which you may cover in triathlon or duathlon uh, and aquathlon. There's plenty of options so we'll go through all of them maybe in a, a separate uh, episode to this one. So like I said this year we're going to be um, working our way up to the European Sprint Championships and Standard Championships in Vichy this year and um, yeah we're going to be wearing that age group GB uh, tri suit which can be really exciting so please follow this content um, there'll be episode two coming out in a couple of months time and building up the content so please keep following if you're inspired i've got some links below uh, to check out and um, yeah see you in the next episode